Well, in today's video, I want to talk about dirty carpet. <laughs> yes, dirty carpet. You know, carpet is not as popular as it used to be, but if you own an older home or own some rental property, you're probably dealing with some dirty carpet. Well, if you've never been to my channel before, I want to welcome you here and ask you to subscribe and like this video. Well, in today's video, I want to talk to you about the way I clean carpet. Now, a lot of my rental property still has carpet. As a matter of fact, last year, I removed some old green carpet from my property and I was going to redo the hardwood floors. But once I got the carpet up and I saw how damaged the hardwood floors were from some pet urine and maybe even a flower pot that had sit in one location beside a door had just stained the wood floor so much, it was going to be way too expensive to restore the hardwood floors so I went back with carpet almost every time a tenant moves out if they've been there over a year or so I have the carpets cleaned before the new tenant moves in I want my new tenants to move in a property that is nice and clean and in good condition and I'm hoping that is going to encourage them to take good care of the property and return it to me that way when they move out well, for many years, I hired a carpet cleaning service to clean the carpets, and that worked well for years. But about three years ago, I decided to just purchase a carpet cleaner from Walmart and just try to clean the carpets myself. The carpet cleaning had gotten so expensive, and I was actually disappointed a few times with the carpet cleaning. And let me say this about the carpet cleaners. I did not realize how important it was to have the floor vacuumed very well before you hire the carpet cleaner to come. And I think that really was probably what I was doing wrong. But I'm digressing or getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about how I clean carpets. Well, after doing a lot of research, I have come up with a way that works best for me. And I wanna share that with you today. Number one is I make sure I vacuum the carpet several times. I vacuum that carpet and I vacuum that carpet and I vacuum that carpet. And it's amazing how much stuff you will pull out of a carpeting that maybe a renter has been using and they were not faithful about routine vacuuming. Vacuum that carpet over and over and over. If you have one of those vacuum cleaners where you know it fills up the little pan and you dump it, you'll be shocked, I feel like, especially on rental property, how many times you can fill that thing up with just one room. So vacuum, vacuum, vacuum the carpet before you start shampooing the carpet. Now I purchased a Hoover carpet cleaner at Walmart and it recommended buying their carpet cleaning solution for the machine. I did that the first time, but I really wasn't happy with how well it cleaned. So I went online and did a little research, and I have found that vinegar and water works very well. Now let me change that, vinegar and hot water. Having that hot water in your reservoir makes a huge difference. Well, when you go online and you look for recipes for carpet cleaning solutions using vinegar, they recommend a one-to-one -one ratio or a two-to-one, two parts hot water, to one part white vinegar. But I have to admit, I'm not someone that measures. I fill up my reservoir with hot water, probably at least two thirds of the way up, and then pour in my white vinegar. So I'm probably doing a three parts hot water to one part white vinegar, and it works very well. Now, if your carpet is visibly stained, there are visible stains, a really dirty, dirty carpet. What I go to is hot water and OxyClean. I buy the powder form of OxyClean. And I put a little, I mean, I don't measure, but it, I use a little scoop, but it's probably a fourth of a scoop or less of the OxyClean powder in my reservoir. And then I fill the reservoir up with hot, hot water. And I'll shake it up and make sure that OxyClean is dissolved well in the solution. And I'll go over those really stained areas with the hot water and OxyClean 
and it is incredible how clean your carpets will get. Now do this at your own risk, okay? I don't know if, I don't even know if when you read the OxyClean it says it's recommended for carpets, but it has been working well for me and I have done several carpets with the OxyClean in hot water and have not had a problem with it damaging the carpet and it definitely will remove some stains I really thought would not come out, but it took them out. And of course, be cautious when you're using OxyClean. The stronger the solution is, in other words, the more OxyClean you put in that reservoir, the more likely you may have color loss to your carpeting. So be cautious when you use the OxyClean. But I have to say, I've been using it for a while on several carpets, and I haven't damaged the carpet. I've actually restored the carpet because I got those heavy stains out. And it's so important to remember when you're cleaning carpet, especially very dirty carpet, you may have to repeat this process several times. You'll be emptying that water, the dirty water, and it will just be black the first few passes over that carpet. But the more times you do the carpet, the cleaner that water will get. And it'll be so satisfying as you see that dirty carpet coming clean. And when you're pouring that dirty water out, the water's not as dark and dirty as it was that first time. And another tip I want to give you about cleaning carpet. Remember when you're cleaning the carpet, you want to do long strips at a time. You want to go over that carpet in one direction, releasing the solution on the carpet. And then slowly walk back as that carpet cleaner is sucking up that solution and the dirt. You want to let that cleaning solution have time to set on that carpet fiber and penetrate that stain for several seconds or even a few minutes. When I was first starting to clean carpets, I was doing it so fast, going back and forth, back and forth. I wasn't giving the solution time to really do what it needed to do. So make sure you're going slowly across the carpet. You're going to you're going to go forward releasing that solution slowly, maybe the whole length of the room and let it set there. You know, let let that solution set there maybe at a minute and then walk backwards as you slowly suck up that dirty water and solution as you go back through it. Because if you're doing it slowly, you're giving time for that solution, that OxyClean water or that white vinegar in hot water to, to really do some good. If you're just going across it back and forth, back and forth too quickly, you're, you're working yourself so hard and you're not letting the chemicals do their work. Well, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I had become unhappy when I hired professional carpet cleaners. Knowing what I know now, I think one of the reasons I was disappointed is I was sending that professional carpet cleaner to shampoo carpets that had not been vacuumed well first. I have learned it is so important to vacuum, vacuum, vacuum and remove the loose dirt before you start shampooing a carpet. Well, to sum things up, you can save money by shampooing your carpets yourself. Make sure you vacuum well first. Use hot water in your reservoir. And to save money, you can make your own cleaning solution with hot water and white vinegar. Or hot water and OxyClean. Well, good luck with those dirty carpets. Until next time, bye.